Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Hope you're having a good week before New Year's, so we come out of the uh, holiday season here. This is uh, something I ordered online, as you can probably tell. I uh, heard from a friend of mine who collects about a guy who sells lots of uh, vintage packs online, and he kind of puts together different sort of lots. They're all around the same price, $30 to $40, and... You get a mix of uh, unopened vintage packs and some singles and team sets and things like that. And so I looked at what the guy was offering and I decided, you know, take a chance. And I do that sometimes with the vintage packs, how I kind of keep them around and, and have them to open. Because I, I like opening vintage, as you've probably noticed. And so uh, I looked at this guy's listings and uh, I'll tell you about the one that I, I decided to go for. This one... Uh, on his listing page, the guy cited it as having numerous unopened packs, at least 20 years old, most of them 25 years old or more. Uh, Tops, Fleer, Upper Deck, and Dunruss, no lesser manufacturers, and at least one 1987 Tops, which is a good year because it has the Barry Bonds rookie, the Bo Jackson rookie, and, and quite a lot of Hall of Famers. So that's that's kind of good, I thought. Also includes 20 to 30 singles from the past six decades from all sports, baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. Uh, one baseball team set from over 20 years ago, and uh, the guy offered in his listing that you can ask for your team, and if he has one, he'll send that team set. So uh, I asked, as you can imagine, if you watch the channel, you know I collect Baltimore teams, so I asked for the Orioles, and uh, hopefully that's what he sent. I have not, as you can see, I've not opened this yet. This uh, just arrived. And it also includes at least two tops cards from the 50s or 60s, which, you know, that could be interesting. And one uh, free Mickey Mantle insert card. So that's probably one of the, I assume anyway, that that's one of the recent uh, Mickey Mantle reprint inserts type thing that Topps has done. Um, so, it, you know, I thought it sounded pretty good. And, uh, you know, uh, I paid $40 for it. I usually wait until the end of my videos to tell you what I paid for something. But this is something I think as we go through it, you can kind of let me know if you think I got a good deal. And you can kind of, you know, know that I paid 40 for it uh, and kind of calculate it as we go through and see if we hit the $40 mark. Um, this is the first time I've done one of these on the channel. As I said, I've I bought stuff like this before, but I haven't opened it on the channel. I'm kind of throwing the uh, the seller under the bus here. His uh, seller name is McCoy's 59 and I printed it out so that you could see that's his seller name and I'll, I'll put it up there so uh, you can actually you can't even see that from him. <laughs> well anyway I'll come back to it and I'll put it in the description uh, at the bottom there. I'll put it in the description. So anyway let's get into this and, and see what this guy sent and see uh, if it was worth my $40. Uh, I thought uh, Opening this carefully, it is a very heavy uh, priority mail envelope. This is one of the padded priority mail envelopes, and it is rather heavy. And so we're using uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Fiskar to get in here. This isn't; these are KitchenAid, actually. I thought I had Fiskar scissors. Well, anyway, we're getting in here very carefully, and we'll uh, see what comes out of this package. Uh, wow! All right, so we've got uh, a little cursor ray padding there, and this is. Uh, a nice note from the guy. It says, one gigantic Orioles. Thanks, Chris. Merry Christmas, Skip. So the guy's name is Skip, I guess, which I did not know. And uh, so there we are. Um, let's see what we, we have. Well, here's some 87 tops right off the top here. I see that, and it's a rack pack. That is pretty nice. I was not expecting rack packs. He didn't say anything about that. So that is... That is pretty nice. I'll be happy to have that and maybe even open that tonight. We're going to open something in here tonight. Maybe I'm not going to open all of it. That's uh, a lot of, he's really sent a lot of unopened stuff in here. Here's another rack pack that we have here. This is a uh, 1992 Donruss and uh, this is a nice uh, thing to open. And I, actually, I got to tell you, I don't know if I've ever opened a 92 Donruss rack pack. Like, even when they came out, I don't think I ever saw them in rack pack form, only in regular wax pack form. And this is a good set, and as you can see, it tells you right here, uh, this has uh, autographed Cal Ripken cards randomly inserted, so the chances of us getting one are quite slim, but that's neat. I, uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at that, and uh, that's, that's pretty good. Before we go on, I want to make sure you know, I, I don't know this guy, like, I just went on as a regular 
eBay buyer and uh, you know just bought this. I, I don't know this guy. I have no affiliation with him or anything like that. Um, so you know this ostensibly if you buy something from this guy this is essentially the kind of thing that you will get and, and we'll figure out if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So it looks like he sent this must these must be the singles. Yeah there's a Frank Thomas on the back, which is pretty nice, and a Paul Blair on the front. That Paul Blair is a 1976, and it's in pretty terrible shape, but uh, nonetheless, it is an Orioles card, and uh, Paul Blair is actually one of my favorite Orioles. He was a fantastic center fielder for them. Uh, my grandfather always thought Paul Blair was one of the best fielding center fielders that he had ever seen, and he saw he saw Willie Mays. I mean, he saw the greats play back in the uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s. So for him to say that, it made me really always kind of have a great appreciation for Paul Blair. So that's kind of cool to see him there. This is, uh, wow, this is a, a memorabilia card of uh, Mora from uh, Allen and Ginter. I'll get this up here so you can see it a little better. There we go. Looks like a bat memorabilia card there from an Oriole named Mora. That's uh, Melvin Mora, that's right. Andres Mora also played for the uh, Orioles in the 70s. So that's kind of neat. I uh, I must admit I, I don't have uh, a lot of Melvin Mora cards and I certainly don't have that one. And uh, it looks like two team sets here. That's pretty neat. There's a 1990 Fleer and a 93 Fleer Ultra, I believe that is. Yes, it is. So uh, two team sets and both Orioles. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with that. And oh, there's the Fernando Valenzuela Orioles card on the back. I think that's the only one uh, that they made, or if they made more, I, I don't remember seeing them. Wow, that brings back some memories there. I'd forgotten he even played for them. So two team sets, we'll go over those, but those should have some good cards in them. Uh, Ripken, obviously, and I think some other uh, good Orioles played around that time too. We'll, we'll check those out. Um, we'll go through these singles too and see what's in there and let's check out these packs there there's a pretty good stack of packs here this is the Mickey Mantle uh, insert card and as you can see that's a Topps uh, insert reprint and those go for about you know maybe two or three dollars something like that uh, they're, they're nice and I'll probably use that one uh, to give to my son when we talk about classic baseball we haven't actually covered Mickey Mantle so that's actually going to be a useful card for me and it looks like some other cards are taped in here so we'll get to those as well um, so let's see what packs we have. Got an 89 Tops, that's pretty decent. A 90 Fleer, uh, see those a lot. That's not too uncommon. This is, I think, an 89 Donruss, is that right? 88 Donruss, that's an 88 Donruss. Pretty decent there as well. 92 Upper Deck, and this is a good pack because you can actually pull Ted Williams autograph cards out of these. It's extremely, extremely rare, of course, but that's uh, that's not a bad pack to have. I'm, I'm happy to find that in here. Uh, and this, I believe, is an 89 Donruss. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's an 89 Donruss. So a couple of decent Donruss packs. Not too bad. Here's a Score Series 1 from 1991. Uh, some good cards you can pull out of there. I always get the Score Series 1 and Series 2 confused, so I'm not going to suggest what I think uh, is in there. Here's another Donruss. So we got two of those. Uh, that's the first duplicate I've seen. Here's an 88 Tops. That's pretty good too. Happy to have that. There's a 91 Fleer Ultra. Those are not difficult uh, to get by any means, but still fun to open. Here's a, a 1990 uh, Upper Deck. And uh, this is, you know, when you talk about Junk Wax era, these Upper Deck packs, you know, were very uh, overprinted and whatnot. But nonetheless, you can still pull some good cards out of here. And, and I enjoy opening Upper Deck. That's a fun pack. 88 Fleer. Here, I like 88 Fleer a lot. That's actually, uh, I'm happy to see that one. I enjoy 88 Fleer, so I'll put that over here. And then another score pack. This is 1990 score. And uh, yeah, well, all right, so I didn't count these. I was just looking through them. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's a dozen unopened packs plus two rack packs. So remember, I paid $40 for this lot. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if that's forty dollars worth of unopened stuff or not, but it's it's got at least I would say it's at least twenty or twenty five dollars of unopened stuff. And then we haven't hit this stuff yet, so let's move these packs off to the side for the moment and and open up some of this other stuff and see how we do here. Uh, this is uh, this is all in uh, top loaders, and uh, this looks like another Mickey Mantle insert. So maybe these are all 
mantle insert cards here. Uh, I might have to get out Mr. Kershaw to help get this tape off of here. These cards are not uh, coming free very easily. All right, here's Mr. Kershaw, and we will very carefully get this tape off. See if that will do it. Uh, all right, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, we've got some vintage cards in here. He did say that there would be vintage. In his listing, he mentioned that there would be some vintage stuff. And these also look like Orioles, which is a lot of fun for me. That's really neat that he did that. So there's the other mantle insert, and that's from the old Kmart set back in the day. I forget when this came out. It says 1982. That sounds about right to me. And these came out in like a small little uh, box, and you could only buy them at Kmart. And I'm, I'm not sure the Kmarts are even still around anymore, which is a shame. You could, you could always find cool stuff there. So a couple of Mickey Mantle inserts, and these are probably a dollar or two each. So, you know, they, they count for something, I guess. Let's put Kershaw away here. As always, keep sharp blades out of the reach of small hands. All right, let's check out these vintage Orioles that he sent. This is a Mark Belanger, who uh, is pretty off-center and, and not in great shape, but that's all right. Still uh, fun to see that. Belanger was a longtime shortstop for the Orioles and played uh, next to Brooks Robinson for many, many years. Uh, very, very good fielder. Not the best hitter, but a good fielder there. Al Pilarsic. This is an older card, actually. I believe this is uh, from the, yeah, this is 1961, so this is from a little earlier than that. So uh, that's fun to see, Al Pilarsic. And Dave May, uh, outfielder from 69. That's another 69 Orioles card. And then there's Marv Breeding, second baseman. And i got to say, that's crooked in the holder, but that is in really nice shape move that closer. Take a look at that. Those are some very nice corners there, and that is very well centered. Uh, not a lot of value to Marv Breeding. That's not a high number or anything, but uh, that is in good shape. I will uh, get that out of that holder and uh, check that out more closely after I finish shooting tonight. And the Alpilarsic's not in bad shape either. It's off-center, but again, pretty nice corners and uh, very, very nice edges as well. That's a uh, that's pretty good condition there. The Blanger was not in great condition, but uh, and neither is the Dave May for that matter. But uh, those two older ones from 1961 are in really nice shape. All right, let's check out this one. This is the, uh, well, we'll save that for last. Hopefully there's some nice surprise in there. Uh, that's a lot of singles in there. Let's check out these team sets real quick and go through these. Again, this is two team sets, and his listing promised just one, so that's a nice bonus. Uh, I'm happy with that. 93 Fleer Ultra, which I think are really pretty cards. You know, they're full bleed photo cards, which is great. And uh, there should be some good Orioles in here. Let's check it out and see. Brady Anderson starts us off. There's Glenn Davis, power hitter who came over from the Astros back then. Leo Gomez, Cheeto Martinez, Ben McDonald, great pitcher from that era. Alan Mills, Mike Mussina, good, good one to have there. Greg Olson, another good one. David Segui, Jeff Tackett, Mark Williamson, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer right there. Mike Devereaux, Todd Froworth, Chris Hoyles, Luis Mercedes, Sherman Obando, Brad Pennington, Harold Reynolds, Arthur Rhodes, Cal Ripken Jr. There's the, the big winner there for me. I'm not, a, I'm not actually sure I have that one, or if I do, I haven't seen it for a long time. And again, the condition here is really quite nice. I mean, this definitely looks like it was... Uh, you know, fresh from the pack, all of these two in this team set, honestly. There's Rick Sutcliffe, another good pitcher from that era. And Fernando Valenzuela has an Oriole. I haven't seen that one in a long time, and that's that's pretty neat to see that. So that's that's a good team set. I'm happy with that. And uh, again, I think those are... It's not a set that's worth a particularly large amount of money, but I, I do like that. That's a big, thick team set here. And this is 1990 Fleer. Uh, Brady Anderson starts us off once more, and there's Jeff Ballard, Phil Bradley, Mike Devereaux again, Steve Finley, Pete Harnish, Kevin Hickey, Brian Holton, Ben McDonald, looking very happy to be an Oriole, Bob Melvin, Bob Malacki, Randy Milligan, Greg Olson, Joe Ursalak, Billy Ripken, and there's Cal Ripken, Dave Schmidt, Larry Sheets, Mickey Tettleton, Mark Thurmond, Jay Tibbs, Jim Traber, Mark Williamson, and Craig Worthington finishes that one out. So, uh, really, Cal Ripken's the only card of note in that one, in my opinion. The uh, I think the 93 had uh, better cards, but still, very nice to have two Orioles team sets. I'm pretty pretty excited about that, actually. That That's really neat. 
Now here we've got a, uh, I guess these are the singles. He promised, uh, I have to look at the, uh, the listing again. It looks like he, he promised uh, 20 to 30 singles. So that's what I assume these are. And again, this is the guy's username. I'll put it in the description. So if you think I did well and you want one of these for yourself, you know, you'll know where to get them or, or who to buy them from. I, so far, I feel pretty happy with this. Uh, $40 is what I paid. Um, I think I'm probably pretty close to that. These rack packs are probably about seven, maybe eight dollars each. So that's say 16 right there. And then I had a dozen rack packs. So even if they're only a dollar each, which I think some of these are definitely more than a dollar, but we'll, we'll say they're a dollar each. So that's, uh, 16 and 12. That's, you know, that's coming up on $30 there. Plus the team sets are probably, you know, maybe I think the 93 Fleer is probably, I would call that a $5 set, and the 90 Fleer is probably only about 3 so that's coming up on about 38 And then uh, some of these these older cards, plus there was that. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we get in the singles and see if it puts us over the $40 mark. This is really going to be what tells us if uh, we did pretty well here. Paul Blair, which I'm happy to see. The card's not in great shape. It's got a really rough edge there, but that's all right. Joe Coleman from 1973. I don't think that's a high number. It is not... Stan Perzanowski from the Rangers, 1976. John Hale, another 76. Tito Fuentes from 76. There's an Oriole. Doug DeSensei's. Uh, pretty bad mark there on the side, but it's an Oriole. Mike Piazza. Well, there's a nice one. And that is a uh, Topps card from 96. That's a nice card. I like that one. Uh, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer. All right, I'll take that. There we go. Nice uh, Roger Maris insert. That is... Uh, Turn back, back the Clock, 1961, 25 years ago. You do the math and let me know when that came out, because I'm incapable. But that's a pretty neat card. I like to see that. There's a Cal Ripken, Star Power Tops, insert card from 1996. Not sure if I have that one or not. It looks familiar, so I suspect I do, but that's a... Uh, that one's sharp. That one's in great shape. Paul Molitor, another Hall of Famer from the Brewers. That's pretty good. Tom Glavin... All right, this is from 1992 Donruss, if I'm remembering right. It's 91 Donruss. All right, very good. And uh, that's that's earlier in his career, so that's a nice card. I'll take that. Lee Smith, not too bad either. Andre Dawson is sleeved for us. And uh, again, that's, that's a Hall of Famer. I'd like to see that. Roger Clemens, nice uh, Fleer card there. So that's, that's a bunch of stars and Hall of Famers. There's a Larry Walker. And this is a 2005 Donruss Champions Right there. That's nice. There's another Cal from Dunruss 1990. Wow, this is loaded, guys. Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer there. Eddie Murray, former Oriole and Hall of Famer there. This is a nice bunch of singles, I gotta say. Tom Glavin, and that's from the 93 Fleer Ultra set as well. Reggie, I do love Reggie Jackson. That one's a little beat up, but that's all right. I like Reggie a lot. Jim Tomey, also from 93 Fleer. There's a nice Wade Boggs from 1989 Donruss. That's a good one. And uh, this is or also Roger Clemens, uh, Topps Strikeout. I don't, I don't have any cards that look like that, I have to tell you. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like he's being compared to Nolan Ryan here. I don't know what that card, what year that card is from. That's a new one for me, but very neat to have. And then there's the Frank Thomas we saw, and that is uh, a pretty sweet card as well. That's a Donruss card from 1993, so uh, just his fourth year card. Pretty neat to have that. I'm not sure I have that card. That was loaded, guys. That was full of stars. I am impressed with that. Uh, that is, I mean, after after looking at all of that, I mean, for me, that is easily forty dollars value. I, I would say that's that's probably closer to fifty dollars value, honestly, and and maybe even more. I, I have to look up some of these cards because I I don't know some of the values off the top of my head. But that is a that is a really uh, I'm impressed with that. I would. Uh, I would order that again, and I really appreciate all of the Orioles that he put in there. So, uh, again, this is the, uh, the username of the guy, and you can go online and see what he is offering. And if it uh, if you liked what you saw here, maybe you'll like that too. I, I think I'm going to save that 87 rack pack. Maybe for the next video we'll open that one. But we'll open some. Uh, we'll open one of these Donruss packs just to see what we get here. And, and all of these packs, you know... It's pretty clear that they have uh, not been tampered with. I'm not seeing any any signs of that as I'm looking at the seals or the folds. I, I can often tell is, you know, you look at these fold lines along the 
edge here and if they're if they're a little wonky or you see little ears sticking up or something like that then you know that they maybe have been tampered with of course those haven't been but these look absolutely untampered with very happy to see that too uh, so again this is uh where's the this is uh, 88 Donruss uh, we're opening here, and I believe this is all Warren. Nope, St Stan Musial Puzzle came that year. Sid Fernandez and Don August, Paul Kilgus, Jody Reed, rookie, Craig Brock, Will Clark, that's a good one, Bert Blylevin, not too bad, Bruce Ruffin, Bo Diaz, Doyle Alexander, longtime pitcher, Lance McCullers, Tony Fernandez, Luis Aguayo, and there's Fernando again, two Fernandos tonight, and there he's bunting, which I can't, I mean, it's a good thing they got a picture of that, because I can't believe Fernando Valenzuela did a lot of bunting. But maybe, I don't know. And Brian Fisher is the final card there. Well, that's cool. All right, well, overall, I give this a uh, pretty, pretty good grade. I would buy this again. I, I'm happy with, uh, with what I got here. I, I really, uh, the thing that put it over the edge for me were all of these uh, really very nice singles. A lot of Hall of Famers in here and some, some nice Ripken Orioles cards as well. Really, uh, really pretty good. Tell me what you think in the comments, though. I want to hear from you about uh, what you think of this. Again, I, I bought this just as anybody would. I do not have any affiliation with the seller. There's no promotion or anything going on here. If this had been, you know, a terrible uh, bunch of cards, you, you would have seen that too. But... In any event, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, once again, I really appreciate you tuning into the channel. And if you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing and giving this a like. And uh, I love to hear your comments. Always respond back to them. Uh, really appreciate that very much. And as always, happy collecting.